and this is our 600 I believe let's see our 7 this is our 7 and let's see our 5 and our 5 all the content is different the now that we've created an additional design with a couple different properties uh, let's actually make another and let's illustrate different layouts that we can create so oh, well it's about that let's call this 500 now the order is slightly out of order but that's irrelevant we're just actually illustrating how we can change our layouts very quickly and easily so let's go ahead and do that Now you're going to notice that what we do here is that we're going to hide these layers and this is very important because this is one of the abilities that you have with export kit is that you do not have to actually include content if you do not need to. So once we hide it we can either drag it off stage, uh, move it somewhere else in some type of uh, relevance but the important thing is that once it's hidden, oh actually sorry Figma doesn't let you just select a hidden element. So assuming this is our completely different layout that we're expecting for this particular screen size and you see that we've hidden a few elements and when you hide elements the only thing you have to do is when you go to customize you have to include hidden for your layer options. So we can go ahead and export this and test. So our desktop and this is our 600 I believe let's see our seven this is our seven so you can see we change the style completely with our six and let's see our five and our five all the content is different the entire layout is different now mind you we didn't exactly Mac uh, optimize it for a 500 design we just actually illustrated that we're just changing the content but you can see that we easily hid content that we didn't require we were able to give a completely different layout under this screen size using export kit.